First News with Keeler in the morning on WIBX and WIBX950.com. Greeley Ford is standing by on the line right now. And with the announcement the uh, the other day, two days ago, of the, uh, the the drop of those restrictions from the Liquor Authority, there is a lot going on. Greeley, good morning. Thanks for coming on. Good morning, gentlemen. How are you today? Good. Um, uh, uh, Manassi's going to do some smacking for you coming up in a second. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, good, Greeley. <laughs> uh, i to make that sound before every word I say now. So You already right. do. <laughs> I, I believe, by the way, I believe that uh, Richard said, like, two years ago was complaining that I did that. So don't feel alone. The smacking yes, thing? Yeah. That, that when I begin to speak, when I start to talk, um, there's a noise i don't know what that noise is but i became very over conscious of it mm-hmm. after he said that so you know your words do matter when you say something to somebody it um it sticks with you <laughs> i'm sure it does yeah uh okay Greeley. so this was a, a and and listen i know that being on the uh, liquor authority and one of the commissioners um this has been a rough year for everybody involved because you're given a task you got to follow through on on what you have to follow through on and it's been uh, it's been pretty tough, I think, for for everybody in the last year. Yeah, it's it's not been a lot of fun uh, for anybody uh, across the board, to be honest about it, as you would expect. Uh, it's funny how it was March sixteenth. I think it was a Monday of uh, twenty twenty, and I was in my office uh, in Albany at the SLA, and uh, I remember we were getting things together, uh, waiting for the governor to. Uh, um, to drop it, that we were going to uh, enforce bars and restaurants and everything closing for all uh, ex- anything except outdoor yeah. or take it. To, and not, it wasn't even outdoor at that point. It was just to go. And uh, we're going to allow alcoholic beverages to be sold to go to, which was a first, which right. I guess we'll see if that continues. I haven't seen anything that says that it hasn't yet. But I, I uh, did see where they were trying to continue it. Um, yes, but yeah, uh, yeah, that's going to be interesting. It's one of those things that might stick around after the pandemic. It's very possible, and yeah. I think that might have to do with the legislature making some ABC law changes changes yeah. to have that happen. But okay. anyway, so that's when that happened, and then you know, uh, Wednesday, March nineteenth, almost a year later were when uh, all the restrictions were pretty much lifted, irrespective of, uh, you know, CDC guidelines and that sort of stuff. But as far as the state liquor authority uh, orders, they were sort of lifted. And what we did this week was really housekeeping cleanup uh, to say that any licensee that had restrictions put on their license because of executive order violations, in other words, like we said, you have to close earlier than what you normally would close because of, whatever violation uh, right, you committed, right. uh, we were going to go back to your regular operating method of operation. And those licenses with, with those uh, uh, determinations will be going out. Actually, they should all be going out by today. Uh, so if you, let's say you are a bar and you got in trouble and, and you, you negotiated a settlement, you paid some and, and you said, okay, we'll close, we'll stop serving at 10 o'clock. And that's what your license now says. You still have to follow that until you get the new one in the mail. Is that correct? Correct. You okay. know, so in, in many cases, civil penalties were assessed, which are typically negotiated with the council's office. And what the uh, uh, full board does is we just approve what's been settled. Or if we think it's too high, we'll say we'll vote to make it less. Or if we think it's not enough based on what happened, we'll raise it. Uh, but anyway, so, and that, that's all deferred right now, too, by the way. No one's paid any civil penalties yet, except for, even though they've been assessed, no one's paid anything yet unless you've been suspended. You've had to pay it to get back, uh, to get activated again. So, and we had a couple, I think, that were suspended in uh, in our area. Am I correct in saying, um, uh, uh, th- did you hear that noise? I made the noise just to make you feel more comfortable. Um, <laughs> no, I didn't hear it. <laughs> I think, uh, there's, I there's think been a uh, couple of big bree- ones here. Breezes are fully and, restored. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. And Twin Ponds, I think, was the other one. Uh, yes. and, and those have been fully restored. Yes, there's okay. been others too around here okay. uh, that have also uh, been uh, that have paid and restored, and other ones that were never uh, suspended who got charged oh. and uh, agreed to pay a penalty. And we're, we're never suspended. But, you know, we just also 
extended the deferral time to the end of next month. We've been doing it on a, a month by month basis. I see. Okay. So all these penalties now that uh, have been uh, assessed are not due now until the end of June. And we've been going month to month. So depending on how things go, we may extend it again. But we've been doing it by month to month okay. for right. the past year or so. Well, it, trying to allow these places to get back in business because they've been it, they've been hit so hard. Um, That's the point. Yeah. That's the point, yeah. Bill. We're trying to we're trying to be cognizant of the fact that you know they're having a rough time as it is, and yeah. Yeah. all the rule changes and stuff like that. You know, uh, uh, I don't know. Say that they helped or not? I guess you could say they haven't, but we're trying to be uh, aware of the fact that they're trying to get back up on their feet. So All that's right. why penalties okay. have been deferred. All right. Well, that's uh, that is. But for the most part, you still have to follow, and not for the most part, you do still have to follow the the guidelines that are set forth by the state, um, which really are: if you're vaccinated, uh, you can you can go back to some normalcy here. Yes, you can. Uh, my wife Candace and I went out last weekend for really the first time since I can remember that we went out to a couple places, yeah. we hit several places. We went to ocean blue. We went to one Jenny where I've never been before, which was just great. Yeah. I still think of it as a leather bottle. That's how old I am. <laughs> um, so let me think. <laughs> then we went to uh 1799, a new, new place here in Camden. Uh, we went down to harpoons, our, our local hangout for the summer. And I, I noticed one thing in common. Uh, all of the staff were all wearing uh, masks. Yeah. 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 Uh, the pa- the patrons weren't, but uh, they were sitting down, and uh, and when they did get up, they did put their masks on. So we took our mask in with us, knowing we don't have to now because we've both been vaccinated. We took them anyway just in case, yeah, like you yeah. said, this bill. Yeah. You want to get a feel for it when you go in. What's everybody else doing? Right. Uh, you yeah. want to make yeah. sure you're not you know causing anybody any problems or not like yeah. that, especially me. So we uh, went in, and it, it was really nice. It was great, great food. Got to see some people. No one was standing around. Yeah. And a lot of the violations that have taken place have been for uh, people standing around and yeah. congregating. Right. And uh, but you know, that's okay now. You can congregate. You can dance. You can play pool. Uh, you know. It, you know. It's funny with classified. A lot of times when people would not be dancing and we play something like celebration or yeah. something like that. And, and people wouldn't get up. I would go on the microphone and I'd say, ladies and gentlemen, we just got a call from the governor. The restriction against dancing has been lifted. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> as if that, as, that's so funny because you never would have thought that that would really exist. Right. I know. I uh, thought about um, that the other day that I use that as a punchline just to try yeah. to get people break the ice like come yeah, on you know we're yeah. not getting any younger the night's not you know the night's progressing yeah, let's yeah. have some fun here and they'd sit there and look at us like we had three heads and so it's just funny how uh you know sometimes things come to pass that you didn't expect uh, uh michael said a uh a, a funny line here this morning and take it in in stride uh, all that staff, all those staff members threw that mask on so quickly when they saw you walk through the door. <laughs> <laughs> well, Greeley's here. <laughs> well, to, to be honest, uh, that's why uh, uh, Candace and I stopped going out because we don't want to make anybody feel uncomfortable. Right. Uh, I didn't want to see anything that I really didn't need to see. And uh, yeah. it, it was just better just not to be there and wait. So we. We've been hanging out. Our back deck is our new uh, yeah. nightclub. Well, it feels good to be out, though, doesn't it? It had to feel really good to get out. I I know for for us that it, it has to be able to get out and do something. Um, I want to oh. I want to switch gears yeah. if I if I can to uh, to AT and T. I'm an AT and T uh, person, as you know, Greeley, and yep. Yep. Uh, I'm seeing that there are towers that are popping up. Um, so that's it. The the service continues to get. Faster, you can do so much more on cell service than you've ever been able to do. Absolutely, and it's only going to get better. Uh, in the past, uh, oh, year or so, we put up more cell sites in 2020 than we have all of 2015 to 2019. Wow! And, and this year, we aim to break that record in Herkimer County. Uh, I'll announce it. I think I told you, but I, I, I mm-hmm. haven't even told AT and T yet. We just turned up a site down in Jordanville. So yeah. We've also turned up sites in uh, Herkimer, uh, downtown, Poland, Middleville, Newport, uh, uh, one over by 
uh, Charlestown that serves 5S, the, the, the Oneida County, Herkimer County border. Um, we have more on deck. We've turned up sites in, let me think, in Utica, I'm sorry, in Oneida County, in uh, Marshall, uh, down towards the Risking Falls, Holland Patton, Barneville, Remsen, Forestport, uh, New London, Florence, uh, Cheryl. I could go on and on. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I just helped negotiate four new leases with Oneida County. So we are building a cell site atop the Oneida County office building. The Board of Legislators just approved it like uh, two weeks ago. Okay. The leases. So there we're building one on Griffiths Air Force Base, one in Utica College, one in South Rome. Uh, so we got a lot more coming. We're, we're on a tear right now. Okay. It's been awesome. Well, that's yeah. big. I got to tell you, the, I had a situation recently where I was picking up, I, I, I used, um, I, I used my phone for internet because um, I, I'm trying to use my laptop out on a location and I was mm-hmm. picking up a, a public Wi-Fi and my phone was actually faster than the public Wi-Fi was. So I switched yep. over to that. I mean, and probably and safer too. And you're, that's a very good point. When you're, when you're on those public, uh, the, that public Wi-Fi, you can, boy, you are just a sitting duck for hackers. You should at least use a VPN, especially if you're mm-hmm. using public services like that. I use a VPN all the time, but the problems with VPN is sometimes sites that you go to that normally recognize you think you're somebody coming in from Chile right, or something right, like that. Right. So sometimes to getting to my banking app, for instance, I have to shut it off so I don't get the in order to get it, yeah. verification yeah. code and that kind of stuff. Yeah. Uh, so there's other stuff that we're doing too, like with 5G, that's pretty incredible. Uh, I'm working with some of the... The, the, the biggest tech companies in the world, I'm not going to mention any names because they're customers and I respect their privacy, but we are working on 5G millimeter wave indoor applications right now and installing them for them to do research on what can be done with the next generation of wireless, which wow. is 5G. Yeah. So it's pretty cool stuff. I mean, uh, uh, one of these days I'll be able to come back and tell you about it, but uh, let me just suffice to say that right now that it's going on. Uh, okay. A couple comments here uh, via the WIBX 950 app. Uh, one of them says, this comes from Charlotte. Charlotte says, you mentioned the leather bottle. That later became Casa Too Macho, right? So that would have been next door to one, Jenny? It seems like it's all one big. Yeah. Uh, le- yeah, leather bottle was a long, narrow club. So I think it's all the same building uh, that have, they've torn the walls down. Now, I could be wrong, but... I think it was. It's been a long time since I played there. And then I have Ed here saying, uh, it looks like Ed's f- uh, family owns a business. Uh, he says, my family's continuously operated a tavern within this community for 66 years. Alterations to regs, regulations, have been mostly legislative, but during this health episode, directives have greatly affected tavern operations. How does SLA propose to compensate licensees for time lost on our prepaid license? Bars were closed for weeks. Hours of operation curtailed. Interesting because, uh, and I have another bar owner asking this question, Greeley, um, and that is that I believe Senator Griffo had, had originally brought this up and is it, for the at least like a three-month period where they were shut down, mm-hmm. they, couldn't, mm-hmm. they couldn't use their license. Will there be some sort of a, an adjustment made? Uh, I can't really comment on that. I can tell you that uh, as part of the advisories that we put out, uh, we have allowed uh, licensees to not have to turn their licenses in for safekeeping. Let's say if they close temporarily, normally you'd have to turn your license in. Mm-hmm. So you don't. You know, you can keep it. You don't have to turn anything. There's no yep. penalty for that, <laughs> nothing like that. So as, as far as any kind of compensation for, for time down, uh, that may be, as I, I thought of Senator Griffo as soon as you asked me that. Yeah. I think that may be more like of Griffo. a, a, okay. a um, legislative, legislative decision. Than yeah, SLA. Uh, the... Uh, the commission, you you guys have the authority to impose fines, but you can't waive somebody's fee for something, right? They don't they don't allow you to do that, or do they? What do you mean waive a fee? Well, well, I think well that like, would have to come for the, that would have to come for the legislature, right? Yeah, because it deals that, with revenue, in. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yep. Um, yeah. One more from Andrew Greeley. I apologize, but Buck will will not let me get away with this uh, ah, without okay. without saying this. One Jenny was a lawnmower shop and All American Fitness. The leather bottle became Casa Too Much and is now leveled for the new cliffs. I must be older than Greeley or okay, and uh, and and uh, Casa Chimacha used to be across across the street where um, yeah, 
And DeFazio's used to be across the street, and then it was DeFazio's before oh, one okay. Jenny. That's where yeah. I remember Casa too much, across the street, uh, on the other side of Genesee Street. Right. But it's, right. it's funny, out of all the things we talk about, that's the one I get called out on. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> be thankful. Be thankful. I I yeah. I, yeah. Uh, and right. it was all right next to the Paris Theater. Was it the Paris Theater that was right there? I'm yes. pretty sure that yes. was it. So. Yes. All right. Interesting stuff. Greeley, thank you so much. And we right, appreciate guys. it. And um, listen, um, I've already talked to my father. Uh, I can arrange to have a tower put in his backyard. Uh, just He's let cool me know. Uh, we'll make it happen, all right? <laughs> nice little small cell or something like that. We'll yeah, talk. Yeah, that's great. All right. I'll, okay. have, my, I'll have my people uh, call your people. We'll Perfect. do lunch. And you have a wonderful weekend, Greeley. Thank you so much. You too. Stay right. safe, Take everyone. Bye-bye. All right. Uh, Greeley Ford. Who, by the way, if uh, he he referenced uh, uh, the band Classified, mm-hmm. uh, bass player in the uh, in the band, uh, great guy, uh, and it was a, this was this was a tough year for him because you know he's played in all these places and 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 the, they don't make the rules; they just have to to enforce them, and not an easy position to be in in the last year. No, 